After leaving Ravenswood, Emily spent months studying the book and deciphering its symbols. Emily knew she had to reveal the truth about the Blackwood family, so she published her findings in a newspaper. The townspeople were shocked and saddened by the story, and many of them apologized to Emily for not believing her when she first started her investigation. Emily's article caught the attention of a group of occult experts, who asked her to join their team and investigate other similar cases. Emily accepted, and she has been traveling around the country, investigating and exposing the dark secrets of many other abandoned houses and properties, and helping people to find peace and closure. She also kept the Blackwood book with her, studying it and using the knowledge she gained to help her on her investigations. She has become a well-respected and successful journalist and researcher, and her experiences led her to a fulfilling career helping others to do the same. As Emily continued her work, she found that many of the cases she investigated had similar patterns to the Blackwood estate. She discovered that many wealthy and powerful families throughout history had made deals with demonic entities in exchange for wealth and power, but ultimately paid the price with their souls and the souls of their loved ones. Emily made it her mission to expose these dark secrets and put an end to the cycle of corruption and greed that had been plaguing humanity for centuries. She worked tirelessly, uncovering hidden truths and bringing them to light. However, her work also put her in grave danger, as the demonic entities and their human puppets would stop at nothing to keep their secrets hidden. Emily received many threats and had to constantly look over her shoulder, but she refused to be silenced. Despite the danger, Emily persisted in her quest for the truth. Her courage and determination inspired many others to join her cause and together they formed a secret society, dedicated to exposing the truth and fighting against the forces of darkness. As the years passed, Emily and her team were able to make a real difference in the world, and many of the powerful families who had made deals with demons were brought to justice. But there were still many more cases to be investigated, and Emily knew that the fight against evil would be a never-ending battle. But she was ready to face it head-on, knowing that her work would make the world a better and safer place for all. Emily's work and the mission of the Secret Society also brought her some allies. She met with some other people who had supernatural powers and they also decided to join her cause. They were also victims of the demonic entities and were looking for redemption. Together they formed a team of powerful warriors, who could fight against the evil forces and protect the innocent. As the team grew, they were able to take on more complex cases and make a bigger impact on the world. They were able to expose and shut down secret organizations that were working with the demons, saving countless lives in the process. Their success, however, also attracted the attention of their enemies. The demons and their human puppets became more aggressive and ruthless in their efforts to stop the team. They used all means necessary to silence Emily and her team, including assassination attempts, blackmail, and even using their own supernatural powers against them. Despite the dangers, Emily and her team never wavered in their determination to fight for the greater good. They knew that their mission was vital and that they were making a real difference in the world. And as long as there were innocent lives at stake, they would continue to fight against the forces of evil. It was not an easy task, but they were up to the challenge, knowing that their actions would help to make the world a better and safer place for all.